Guys, weather is just perfect. So I decided to pull out the big pit bike. This is the 21, the 2021 Prano 190, 24 horsepower pit bike. This thing is just straight insane. The rear fender is still broken. They're out of stock. Ever since I broke it, they've been out of stock and they're still out of stock, so that sucks. Other than that, she's completely ready to go rip. She's got uh, fresh, it doesn't look so fresh, it looks dirty, but I, I changed the oil, new filter in there. It's all nice and washed up, looks amazing. Uh, chain is tightened and lubed. Oil filter is just cleaned and lubed. Full tank of gas. Let's throw on the GoPro and see what she can do. All right, quick sound check. boys it's been like two weeks since i filmed the intro i just been really busy and couldn't really uh film the rest of the video but uh today we're gonna go riding and we're gonna film the rest of the video now i have been riding the bike ever since as you can tell it's pretty dirty basically every day ever since I bought the bike other than uh during the winter and this thing just been really fun put probably around 50 hours on this thing already really fun fast bike i never had anything break on this bike yet the only thing that i've ever done to it since i got it got a rubber chain roller off of amazon and uh it had the wrong size bearing so i just swapped it out swapped the bearings out and it just basically took away all the chain noise so that's gone that's the only thing i've ever done to the bike ever since i've got it as you could tell no chain noise whatsoever it was very loud I'll throw up a clip if I have one of what it was before, but all of it came from the plastic chain roller and that sounds, that's how it's supposed to sound like. That sounds like a Japanese bike. I don't really get why I even bought this bike. This is like a race specific, like a race ready bike, a pit bike that is built and designed for the track for races. I ride trails, never even been on a track. So I have no idea why I bought this bike. Probably because the fact that it's pit bike and it makes 24 horsepower and that just kind of sold me on it but yeah it's it's built and designed for the track now i do have this little uh little pit bike track but this is i built this for my 110 and all the jumps are just way too small for such for this bike like it's kind of not even fun riding it because accidentally give too much gas and you like go way too far or way out from the jumps like you basically have to just idle over the jumps or clue uh, like pulling the pulling the clutch and cruise to not like you know mess up the jump because they're just so tiny for this bike all right so a lot of you guys in the last video asked for like a recorded top speed run recording on the gopro um and on my phone just to see you know, two, two recordings. I'm sure one of them should be decently accurate. Now, you guys gotta understand that this bike is still geared a lot for torque. Like fourth gear, you give it some gas and it comes up, the front wheel comes up. So you could put in like a lot smaller sprocket in the back and, and this thing could do 90. All right, reset. I'm gonna try to launch it while I'm at it too. All right, here we go. Okay, so the app said top speed 67.3 miles an hour. Now that's pretty fast. It can probably go 70. I just don't want to rev it out so much because I honestly could already hear some valves floating. Like you could hear lots of rattles coming in. It just revs up way too high in my opinion. The rev limiter was a bit lower. I would hold it pinned for a lot longer. Now again, change the sprockets. You'll be going almost 100, not even joking. All right, see you guys at the trails. All right, 
here we are man it's peaceful and it's beautiful out here but we're still gonna rip this loud pit bike and uh we're gonna start off with like an easier hill climb that leads to some downhill mountain bike trails which are really fun and then we'll go that way and hit some pretty intense hill climb that i actually have never made up on any bike before we'll see if we could do it on this bike we'll give it our best shot Coming down here, I almost ran through a herd of turkeys. Quite a bit of animals up here. Let's get down this just so we can climb back up. Because I remember climbing this on a bunch of different my bikes. And I kind of want to see how it compares to the other bikes. So far, this thing is outperforming all my other bikes. Like, even... It's kind of crazy. This is a track bike and it handles well on trails. Like I've had a CRF 150F, I had two of those. I had, uh, I mean, I drive around to my buddies, uh, CRF 125Fs, bunch of different 110s, uh, had a one, uh, 450R, bunch of different bikes, had a YZ85, 65. Uh, yeah, and this thing, so far on these trails, it's, this thing is, I would, I would pick this thing over the other bikes. It is kind of annoying, the gear shift pattern on the trails. Um, it's uh, four gears and it's all up. So all the way down would be neutral. And I'm really used to shifting all the way down to first. And a lot of times I'm like going up a hill or something. And then all of a sudden, boom, I'm in neutral. I'm telling you man all right time for big hill climb stuff kind of scared kind of scared not gonna lie oh man that's sandy I don't know why there's sand up in here like this is not even bad there's well it is pretty bad but there's just like there's like some spots in the trails where it's like just pure like beach sand it's kind of weird Okay, here we are. This is the climb right here. I don't know if you guys could see how steep it is, but it's not that steep right here, but it just gets more and more steep. And there's rocks there too. Like it's almost straight up like a three foot rock that I've never got up to. I went down it and it was scary. Uh, but going up, never made it up. Let's see if we can make it up today. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I'm not even gonna try it again. I'm not even gonna try again. That's way too much. Ugh. Oh my goodness. That was close. It was not close getting up, but I was close to where the bike would tumble the way down. Oh my goodness. And this is not even the bad part. You gotta have a lot of speed, but it's hard to keep your speed through all these rocks and in ruts and it being this steep <sighs> yeah that's like it's like a four foot almost straight up right there bumpy rock i went down it on the side where it's not even that steep it was scary i almost flew it uh flipped it forward <clears throat> okay let's see if we can get down without having the bike roll the way down oh we got it we got it Oh, let's hope we got it. Okay. There we go. 
Whoa. Now slow down. Man, good thing I got good brakes because it would have not been fun without good brakes. Okay, we are not trying that again. I'm not about to break a bone or a bike. Whew. Man, I can't believe I'm doing this on this bike. A full on motocross track pit bike, like built just for the track. I keep saying this, but yeah, it's it's built for the track. I don't think I don't think anybody's done this on this bike. These intense uh, downhill mountain bike trails. Ooh, we're flying. Whoa! Good thing I got good brakes on them. I thought the elevation change would make this bike run a lot different, but it's barely even noticeable since that it's tuned and uh, built for like, like this engine is built for, for power, for performance. And it just, it kind of runs good through everything. I never messed with it. I'm sure it could run better with some tuning.